All right, I'm making a quick video uh, to talk about my current taste in guitar picks. Um, for years, I used the Nylon Jazz 3 picks. I also have used the Altex style, but regardless, with the Sharp Point, used by guys like Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa, John Petrucci, etc. Uh, for about 30 years, I've used these picks. Um, and they're good, I like them. But um, I'm also a big fan of the band Queen. And uh, Brian May of Queen uses a British sixpence coin. And in the past, I've tried American coins like dimes. I found them to be too small. And quarters I found to be too big and too thick. Um, but on a whim, I ordered a bag of British sixpence off of eBay. And they came in, and I really liked them, actually. They're... Um, very similar in size to the Jazz 3, um, about the same width, nearly, uh, but the sound is dramatically different, and that's why I'm making this video. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's got a serrated edge, like a dime or a quarter, um, so it's great for rock, for uh, distorted stuff, um, but I also wanted to try something maybe that sounded a little smoother, and so I found the penny is actually the same diameter, as a sixpence, and uh, it's got a smoother edge with no serrations. Um, and I did some experimenting, and I found uh, that I actually like the older uh, wheat penny style um, because they're actually made of bronze, where the current pennies are made of uh, copper-plated zinc. They're actually much lighter. Uh, they're a different color. If you can see that. Uh, the new style is sort of an orange, the old style is more of a yellow, um, and they weigh differently, they feel different, uh, and I just like the, just the feel and the sound of the bronze better than the, than the zinc, which is totally nerdy, I know, um, but, but I can hear a difference. Um, so again, for really clean stuff where I don't want the serrations, I, I've been trying, um, these old style pennies, um, Otherwise, the, the sixpence. And I'm going to make a quick sound comparison, and it is a dramatic difference um, how these sound compared to plastic picks. So, away we go. Starting with the sixpence. <laughs> I did was change the pick. I did not step on any pedals. I did nothing other than change the pick. Here's the sixpence again. Back to the plastic. Try the penny. Pick. 
and I'll switch over to distortion so you can hear with a with a distorted guitar what they sound like. Sixpence with distortion. <laughs> So as you could hear, it's a pretty dramatic difference between the coin and the plastic picks. The nylon plastic picks were darker, uh, warmer sounding, smoother sounding, and that's a good sound, a uh, sound that I chased for years. Um, but I found the coins to have a, a kind of a brightness and a brilliance and a texture that was um, really unique. I think it's a huge part of Brian May's guitar sound. Um, Equipment wise, you may get everything else 90% of the way there, but if you don't have that uh, serrated metal pick, uh, you're not going to get that last 10%. Again, this is just talking equipment. Um, nobody will ever sound like another famous guitar player because everybody sounds different from each other. But again, just as far as equipment goes, um, that sixpence is a huge part of his sound. Will I ever go back to the plastic picks? I might. I've got a box full. Um, if I change my mind in a week, I can always go back to them. Um, but for now, again, really liking the coin approach. Um, Brian May isn't the only one to have used them. Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top used to use a Mexican peso. Uh, also, the guys from Def Leppard, uh, they use a stainless steel guitar pick, I believe made by Dunlop. Uh, it's thinner than a coin, but it's stainless steel. Uh, so it's a little harder on the strings. I, I tried them for a little bit, and I found they they definitely wore on the strings. Um, because on the hardness scale, stainless steel is obviously higher up than nickel. The penny and the uh, sixpence are lower on the hardness scale, um, so they don't wear out the nickel strings as quickly. Uh, they probably still will wear the strings out faster than a plastic pick, um, but not as fast as a stainless steel would. So anyways, um, hope you could hear the difference, and um, maybe you can experiment yourself. Um, especially if you go the penny approach, it's a lot cheaper than guitar picks nowadays. Guitar picks are going for like 50 cents a pop, uh, depending on what brand you get. 
um, where a penny is a penny. So, um, anyways, try it out yourself, see what you think. Thanks for watching.